Hey lads and ladies, I'm the Jawsome one, and uh, I have been dealing with an issue for a while now when it comes to the quality of my videos. Uh, for starters, I've hated that. I've always hated that. I've, I hate going into the editing and then hearing myself. I, I just, I, I really, I, I hate it. I hate it. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but it's just been a thorn in my side ever since I started doing YouTube. And uh, so I, thanks to my tax returns, I spent a quick 40 bucks, it's about 40 bucks, maybe a little bit more, but uh, I, I just went on Amazon and I got myself a brand new keyboard and mouse and I'm going to unbox it today and show you guys it and then we'll test it out a little bit too. So here's the mouse. High quality computer mouse. The camera, I'm not very good at, there we go. Egging the camera to focus on that. And then on the back here, it's Infic Electronics. So this was a pretty popular looking mouse. Uh, the comments on it and everything like that, the, the user reviews all made it sound like it was pretty good. And uh, I had to fish around for a little while to find this actually because a lot of gaming, for some reason, they make a lot of gaming. A lot of gaming mouses use Bluetooth. I'm like, are you serious? But look, Bluetooth. If if you want to, if you want to be a gamer, you don't want to do a Bluetooth mouse. You just that, that's just my advice to you. I mean, you probably do just fine, but uh, it's it's slower than if your mouse is corded. And, and then of course it also depends on where you plug it in. There's like there's like different kinds of USB. Like some are better than others. There's like USB 3.0, USB 2.0. But um, yeah, it's, I just think it's kind of funny here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tear off the seal on the back here. It's exposing. I'm, I'm gonna try and hold it up so that you guys can see it. Open the red box. And here is the mouse. It's all wrapped up in this uh, white cloth kind of thing okay so you can't really see it too well here's what the cord looks like this is very nice pattern of red and black I think it looks very very fancy but the mouse is another story pulled out of the packaging here this is the mouse let me get let me get it nice and close up and plugged in it's actually supposed to light up and uh, the pictures for it look really good. There are six total programmable buttons on this one. There's two here on the side, as you can see here. And then there's the two regular mouse buttons and then the center wheel, which you can also click. And then an extra middle mouse button right here. Uh, personally, since I play Age of Empires 2 so much, I think this mouse is gonna do, I think this mouse is gonna be wonderful for me to use. I bet it's the same kind of mouse that like the Viper uses, because. I have a really hard time keeping up with my villagers when I'm when all I have access to is just the regular two mouse clicks in the middle the middle mouse click. Later on, I'm going to I'm going to plug it in and show you guys how that looks once it's plugged in. But for now, I'm just going to set the box and wrapper aside. Here's the keyboard that I ordered. And let's see if I can get ooh, right around the mic filter there. Yeah, oh, it's so hard to see. Uh I think you guys can get a good look at it there. So it's the Vixun Gaming Keyboard. And this also lights up and it's supposed to look really fancy. So let's open her up and take a look, shall we? Let's see on the back here. Okay, there we go. This front part, this front part kind of pulls open once you get that off there. There we go. Keyboard, just like the mouse, is kind of wrapped in this uh, this film. This I don't I don't know what this stuff is called. It's it's very tightly stuck in there. I wonder what's holding it back. Maybe it was that little piece of cardboard there. Yeah, it was. It was that one little piece of cardboard at the tip. I don't think you guys could see it, but. Here is the keyboard, and that was a whole list of instructions, and there's another one right there. Come on up. There you go. I don't need instructions, though. Instructions are for noobs. Instructions are for normies. Whee! Okay, so here it is. 
all of the all of the keyboard buttons they're supposed to light up underneath and if I clickety clack here very quiet much quieter than this you can still hear it a little bit but it's much better much softer I'm pressing the same key here I'm even looking at OBS right now it's way quieter Yeah, so with my current settings, a clack on this keyboard, hitting the A button brings it between negative uh, 40 and negative 35. Now, if I move this keyboard aside here and set this one down in roughly the same spot, let's see how it sounds now. Okay, it's roughly negative 45, and if I press it a bit more roughly, it brings it up to negative 40, so it is quieter. Uh, you can still hear it a little bit, but I think I can do something about that by just getting a, a proper filter. I don't, there, there really isn't a, a filter that exists for the blue snowball. You're probably hearing every tap. I enjoy your torture. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it, though. It's going to look very fancy once I get it all plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and set all that up and it'll take me just a, just a minute or two. I might get some, some windows prompts asking me to like calibrate things a bit and you know, just set them up, but uh, I'll be back as soon as that's done. Okay. So I'm back. It's all set up. It looks really, really good. I'm really pleased with it. I did read a little bit of the manual on the keyboard because I am a normie. So, uh, here's the keyboard after everything is said and done. Oh, it looks so good. Gaming at night is gonna be so great now because I can actually see where the keys are. I can I can kind of, I don't know if it'll help me to read them, but, oh yeah, it does. The, the lighting actually goes through the letters. Right here, let me show you, look at that. Look at how, uh, look at how like the, the keys are differently colored. Uh, when this was off, all everything was white. I don't know if you if you're able to see that and remember. Probably you probably are because for me it's like much longer ago because I could I just got like ten phone calls. So that that was the keyboard. Now here's the mouse. And one thing I forgot to show you guys is the the clicking function. See, look at that. It like it changes color all the time. It's super cool looking. This is basically the closest thing my office has to a fish tank right now. Like, <laughs> you know, it's just something that kind of just looks cool. So yeah, it ch changes color in that kind of rainbow, rainbow fashion. And also, it's this mouse is so quiet. Listen. Do you hear anything? OBS is barely, but OBS is not picking this up, like really, like at all. I have it set up so that there's a gain uh, every time to every single thing that the my computer picks up to every single sound. And uh, this, the keyboard, when I was tapping A, It is still a bit noisier than I would like, but it's quieter than my last keyboard. And then this mouse, <laughs> this mouse is really, really good. I'm really happy with uh, with the padding and how quiet it actually is. This keyboard could be quieter, but I kind of chose to make it flashier, so it's probably my fault for not looking around a bit more to find a quieter keyboard that just simply isn't as flashy. Uh, but hey, <laughs> it looks good. I really like it. I really like the my new setup now. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, maybe sometime I'll give you guys a more thorough look at everything that I'm using for my YouTube, my computer, the hardware, the components. Let me know if you guys actually want to see that someday. Someday. Probably not right now. I don't think anybody would care about a 200, <laughs> not even a 200 subscriber subscribe channel doing a video like that but you know later on so you guys take care i love you guys have a good one bye bye